Okay. YouTube kick. I'm gonna look at this comment checking right quick, and then I'm gonna get back to you, YouTube. Did you want to watch porn while being with someone? For me, I just don't even want to watch anything when I'm with someone. Oh my fault. Uh, well, I've only, I'm only with my wife, if that's what you mean. Yeah, of course. I've wanted to watch porn with being with every woman because I've been looking at porn since I was a teenager. So, every woman. Okay, so that is a question from earlier. If y'all watched that stream, YouTube. You can go back and watch that video. Now, to tie into what I ended with, excuse me, to tie into what I ended with, I put in, why did I stop listening to music? Okay. Now, I didn't stop listening to all music, but for the most part, I don't listen to music at all, at all. Um, Y'all will hear music from now on and at the beginning of my smoke streams, but I don't like listen to music like t t today when I was working out, right? I didn't listen to anything. I didn't listen to a podcast. I didn't listen to anything. I, I've gotten more used to not listening to anything because what I've noticed is the more music I listen to, even though not all music is bad, obviously, but the more music I listen to, the more it makes me think about other stuff. It messes up my attention span, right? How do you do that? Because when I listen to one song, I want to listen to another song. And then as the song is going on, I'm thinking about this song. And I'm thinking about, you know, I want to listen to this song. I want to listen to this song. And I've noticed myself kind of getting too easily distracted with the music. Even Christian music, you know, even good music, wholesome music. Um, I just decided, um, I think it's just better for me. I am getting older and I think the music is, it's just not there for, music is, there is music, obviously, pop music and stuff like that, that you can relate to as you get older. But I, I find myself more okay with listening to instrumentals like the one you guys are hearing in the background that's not very loud. <laughs> um, but listening to instrumentals like that when I do homework or something, or I just listen, I might listen to a sermon, or I might listen to a, just a random podcast or some kind of commentary video. I may listen to those, but I'm trying to steer away from even doing that, except for when I'm just, maybe if I'm doing a workout, I might do it. But I'm trying to get myself better about i don't know if this light will help let me see something yeah that kind of helps i want i just want to steer away from constantly having to put something in my mind you know i miss the days when i could read a book i miss the days when i could concentrate and when i stopped smoking marijuana and i stopped looking at porn so much i always find myself on my phone and it leads to bad places for me because always no matter when i'm on twitter and this is me being honest anytime i'm on twitter as y'all know twitter is a great place to be but it is porn filled if it's just it's just a matter of time before the for you page shows you a naked woman or shows you a naked guy or shows you somebody getting beat up or shows you somebody get, I, I saw a video today on twitter of somebody getting shot i'm like what is going on it's it's, it's nudity porn uh teenagers fighting and people getting shot like I had a video, listen, I really had a video show up that, oh my God, it was awful. It showed a video of two guys who got shot and their blood was spilling out all over the road. I'm like, Twitter, what the F is this? Why am I seeing people getting shot and, and murdered? And Twitter was showing, the Twitter showed that to me every now and then. That for you page on Twitter is sick. I kind of have to, you have kind of think what you're following, but you know, you know what happens. You want to see something new. So what do I do? I go back to my for you and then I get all this, this fighting. I get all this people getting shot and I have to mute those pages. And then another one pops up. It's crazy. Um, but nonetheless, that's the kind of stuff I'm talking about. So I notice with my music, sometimes I'll be listening to music and it'd be a song I like, even though I normally listen to my playlist, which I deleted by the way. But I was listening to my playlist and every now and then it would, it would skip to a song that I wasn't planning on listening to, but, was, um, but it would pop up and it'd be some kind of either sexual song or it'd be a song about gang banging, uh, be a song about violence. And it just, I just, I just found myself thinking like, man, I'm too old for this. As stupid as that sounds like I'm too old to still be listening to music about getting her getting this chick or uh shooting up this guy or um 
I'm getting all the hoes and I was just like, man, I'm just, I'm just, I'm trying to be a better man and this ain't the way to do it. I just think to myself sometimes, like, what if I had a really good, wholesome friend right next to me? What would they think about this music I'm listening to? Would they think, oh man, Trey, he's a wholesome guy. I can tell by him listening to this song about some girl getting ate out. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I have to think about that. And if for me to be who I really, truly want to be, I have to take this stuff more seriously. I want to, my goal in life, one is to be a saint, but two, to also be a, um, a help to young men. Um, I want to help young men get over addictions to porn, get over addictions of marijuana, get over other drug addictions, but I also want to be able to just teach, not as somebody who's smarter, but as somebody who's been through stuff and made so many stupid mistakes, even financially, I want to help guys, um, you know, I've get, I got, I'm getting my degree in cybersecurity. I want to be able to show young men, hey, look, you ain't got to be a rapper. You ain't got to go be a YouTuber. You ain't got to go be a Twitter star. You ain't got to go be a TikTok star. You can go get an education or you can go be a plumber or you can go do this or you can just get a skill in the trade. Heck, you can work at McDonald's and become a manager or you can work at McDonald's and be a burger flipper. As long as, you know, if that's your full potential, that's your full potential. I just don't want young men to get stuck in the rut that I did of, Ah, constantly I want to be famous. I want to be famous. I want to be rich. I want to be wealthy. And then you do all these stupid things to get you to a place. Next thing you know, you're booty out, right? Looking stupid. Guys, I have done it. Asking for money. Broke with no food in my fridge. No gas in the car. You know what I mean? And, it, and it's just because I would spend money on stupid stuff and not plan ahead because I got so caught up and I used to want to look cool. I wanted to look like I had money, you know? Sometimes I wanted to impress some girl, you know, and, and that's what I found myself doing. And so I just show you guys the, the, the experience I've had. I've slept in bathrooms. I've slept in an empty apartment. I've slept on the ground. I've slept in the heat with no AC in Texas. That means I was sleeping at night in 85 to 90 degree weather. You know, sometimes in Texas, it'd be around the 80s at night. And I would be in this room during the day, 100 degrees, cooking. And during the winter, I was freezing, no heater. I made some dumb, stupid mistakes. I was homeless. I've done all the dumb things. And even today, I still make stupid decisions financially. I'm just honest, you know? I get caught up in the hype too, I do. And these are the changes, that, that's the whole reason. You see down there, the name of my YouTube channel is What Can I Change? People ask me all the effing time about what are, what are you changing? What are you changing? If you go back, and I've been I've been on YouTube six, seven years now. The reason I ever started the channel was for this reason I'm doing right now. I told you guys I'm making this channel to show you guys my journey from what can I change for over the next 10 years. It's been six or seven now since I started that thing. I started the thing in 2017. So I got four years and we'll see what it looks like at the end of the 10 years. But that was the whole purpose. And so here we are today, me cutting out porn, me cutting out marijuana, me cutting out um, masturbation, me cutting out um, listening to certain music, me cutting out watching certain videos. What can I change to be who I truly want to be? Not who I truly want to be, but what God has called me to be. And that's that's where, that's what we're doing here. And so that is why I stopped listening to certain music. It took, it took me a long time. And for a long time, I actually stopped listening to music. Uh, not, not, I stopped listening to certain music, but it always came back. This time I'm going to cut it out completely for the most part. I may every now and then listen to Michael Jackson. Okay. Judge me how you will. Every now and then I might listen to little Mike, but outside of that, hold on. I'm good. Okay. So for, for just, a, it's just time to make those changes and I'm just ready. And, uh, um, I don't think I'll ever find true peace in my life until I start focusing on the things that matter. And one last thing, I want, my main goals are to be a saint, like I said, um, to help young men. And the last thing is to lose this weight. Um, that this weight has been holding me back for a few years. Um, I want to make a, I'm going to make a video on this here in a second. 
Um, and this will lead us into this is the preview of the next video. I'm tired of being coddled. I always hated the fat acceptance group. I hate hearing about fat phobia. I'm just tired of being babied. I hate people who come out and say, us fat people are just as active as no, we're not. And I'm tired of people telling me I'm not fat. I'm tired of people telling me I'm beautiful. I'm beautiful. I'm tired of people telling me you're just fine. No, I'm not. I'm a glutton. Okay. This is gluttony that I've been doing. Okay. It's immoral. I'm eating more than I need to just to satisfy some random pleasure in my brain. I don't need to eat as much as I've been eating. Even though I've lost a lot of weight already, I still got more to do. Okay. That doesn't mean I just quit and be like, well, I did it before. No. And so that's one thing I, I want to do as well. And I can't do that if I'm focusing all my time. If y'all saw in the previous video, I talked about I watch too much sports. I love sports, but it's very distracting for me. I find myself getting so into the sports that I don't even get out and do anything myself. I don't play basketball. I don't do no, nothing. So I've been working on doing my, I've been working on pushups every day. I've been boxing every, well, not every day, guys. <laughs> I've been playing basketball about four, three to four times a week. I've been boxing about five times a week and I've been working on my pushups about five times a week. And that stuff is going to take me some time to get where I want to be. But this is the point of life. I don't want to spend the rest of my thirties just trying to be happy. I don't care if my life is hard. I still got bad anxiety every now and then. I still feel like I'm going to die sometimes, but why, why waste it? Why give up? Why be like, well, I guess, I guess I just, just give up. I should just go back to looking at porn. Hopefully God forgives me. No, even when I fail and I eat a bad meal, right? I don't do my pushups. I, I, I say, well, tomorrow I got to get back at it. I, I, I went to sleep and I didn't do what I was supposed to do. Get back at it the next day, not next week, not next year. Now, as long as I keep trying every single day, it will come. I could tell you, you know, what, whatever. I can just tell you, I've seen that happen in my life before. When I was still powerlifting and I was still in college and I, and every time I told myself, well, Tomorrow's a better day. And it would happen. I went from being a nobody, homeless kid, to an honors college student. I went from that to a powerlifting champion. I, I did that from just, and I was I was living on the streets. And I went from that to college, to a powerlifting champion, to an honors student, to now doing cybersecurity. I went from all that from the streets. Because I just kept telling myself, well, you just got to keep trying. Now, I'm far from any of my goals. And I don't pat myself on the back because I ain't done nothing. I'm still broke. I st I'm still not successful in any way. I still struggle with paying the bills. Life is still hard. <laughs> but all I can do is keep going for the next day. Keep trying until I get it, not just right, but to where I never get it wrong. Or at least the majority of the time, I, I, can, I no longer get it wrong. I no longer struggle to financially plan. I no longer struggle to um, have the, enough money. I no longer struggle with eating food bad. I no longer struggle with working out and keeping my body fit. You know what I mean? That's the stuff that matters. You can only do that by trying every day. And so now I'm just trying to get more discipline. Stop listening to music. It ain't getting me nowhere. Listening to music is about shooting and, and having sex all day is not going to get me where it'll end me up being what I am now, a fat loser. And you know what I'm saying? That those, music is a fantasy. It, it's nothing wrong with music, but it is a fantasy. And it will keep you in a fantasy if you keep listening to it all the dang time and pretending it ain't real. And so, and even when I watch YouTube videos, I got I have to start breaking away from that. Maybe start, like I said, I'm going to try to start working on reading books, you know, because, well, books are fantasy too. But the more I look at YouTube, the more I start going, man, uh, I start looking at Kai Sinat, Aiden Ross. I start looking at PewDiePie. I start looking at, uh. Alban Preach, the lead attorney. I start looking at all these guys who are super successful and thinking that I'm part of their success. I'm not. And I start finding myself actually thinking about these guys. Like I think about LeBron James, as y'all see him in the background. I think about Joel. I think about Steph Curry. I start thinking, like, I start getting mad at these guys. Like when Steph Curry wins, I'm like, how could he win? I should, what? Steph Curry don't know who I am and nobody cares about my opinion. You know why? Because I'm not on TV. I don't have a million followers. I don't even have a thousand followers. What am I talking about? I'm sitting here really thinking my opinion matters. I'm focusing on the wrong stupid stuff. You know how you get people on Twitter? Twitter is so awful sometimes. I love it, but I hate it. And I'm trying to work my way out of that. But people who get on Twitter and they just, they think their opinion matters so much. And I'm not saying you can't make a comment on Twitter, but you can tell who's like just saying, yeah, cool. You can tell who's like really writing 
thinking somebody really cares because they troll or they say something so outrageous or they say something just dumb and it's just like you could tell some people they really think they're that important like when their team loses like i was thinking like when my team loses i'm like man everybody's gonna get on me tomorrow because lebron james didn't win tonight man everybody's gonna be nobody knows that i even like lebron because i'm a nobody <laughs> i don't have that many f nobody cares if i like lebron I, I know this stuff is sounding stupid to y'all maybe but i'm trying to explain y'all to that main character syndrome i think that my opinions and my thoughts really affect people when it doesn't most people don't care what i have to say it's okay there's over 300 million people in america i promise you they don't all care about what i have to say there's just no way there's just no way and so that's where i am and that's why i saw <laughs> And that's why I stopped listening to music. So that's it.